Turbush stepping up on the run, launching it for the end zone, incomplete! And the Ohio State Buckeyes win it in overtime! Ohio State with the narrow overtime escape last week against Purdue as we welcome you back to BTN Live. Dave Revs and Chuck Long, Howard Griffith. And that, of course, sets up a huge showdown Saturday night in Happy Valley. Two teams undefeated in conference play, Ohio State and Penn State. We're joined by Ryan Shazier, linebacker for the Buckeyes. And Ryan, before we look back, before we look forward, I should say, let's look back. Give me a sense of what you learned about your team in that win over Purdue? Uh, I learned about my team that we're really a really tight-knit team. Um, we're all in. No matter what, we're going to fight to the end. Uh, we, we have each other back, and we know when everybody, whenever somebody goes down, somebody can step up. So we, we all in and ready to fight. Well, speaking of people going down, we obviously saw pretty significant injury to Braxton Miller in the sense that it kept him out for the rest of the game. What was the talk like on the sideline when Braxton went down? Uh, everybody was really concerned. Everybody uh, knew this was really key injury to our team, but we knew that Kenny Guy was going in and coming into this game. His core percentage every time he went into the game was 100%. So we knew uh, having Kenny in the game was A-OK. -okay. And the defense knew we just had to tighten up a little bit more to just help Kenny get started. And once the game got started, we just kept rolling. Ryan, they talked about Urban Meyer getting involved with the defense last week. He wanted to find out what was going on. What did you learn about his, about your defense from that aspect? Um, I learned about uh, as really, really uh, important is that we need to uh, stay together and play the best we can at all times because uh, when we get lazy or we don't play 100% or everybody plays together, uh, the head coach has to come in there and talk to us more about our defense, and that's not what we really want. We, we're not as bad as we showed versus Indiana. We wanted to prove it versus Purdue this weekend. Now, even with Sabino going, even Zach Bourne coming to the, the defensive side, uh, he's really focused on defense, and he really wants to see how good we're going to do and that we can't have any big-time mistakes like we did before. Ryan, you mentioned Zach Bourne. What has he brought different to the linebacking room? Um, one thing I noticed about Zach, he's a, he's a lot more aggressive than uh, a lot of us were because uh, we, we, we used to play side to side and uh, try to go get the ball. But Zach, uh, since he hasn't been in the linebacker room a lot, you can tell he's uh, hungry to go get the ball. So he's a lot more aggressive. And, um, and it just, it's just amazing to have a, another leader on the side of the ball because everybody on the team respects Zach tremendously from just even coming to the defensive side. I and mean, then we just needed that to help us push on to this week. Looking forward to uh, Penn State's offense, uh, Ryan. They have a very fast NASCAR offense. Is that a tough preparation for you, or are you guys used to that facing your own offense every day? Uh, it's, it's, it's a tough to get prepared for, but it, it is uh, it's not as going to be as bad because our offense is also the same type of offense that they are. They uh, like to hurry up, get everybody off, off guard, you know, try to get plays running. But we just got to uh, prepare hard and get everything ready for this team. Ryan, does this game take on any special significance for you guys because of the postseason ban? Uh, yes, uh, this game is really important to us because uh, we're trying to finish this season off strong, try to go undefeated, win all the games possible for the seniors. It's just a big thing up here, and um, we have to just try to come out with the win. I know they call themselves linebacker U. We try to call ourselves linebacker U, so we're just trying to show who is linebacker U, I guess. Well, Ryan Shazier, certainly one of the top linebackers in the conference so far this year. Appreciate you joining us, Ryan. Best of luck to you on Saturday. Uh, thank you.